Hi Cancer, welcome to your May love reading. This is a no contact tarot love reading. So this is for whoever you're thinking about, whoever is on your mind that you may be in no contact or communication with. This is for the month of May and this is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please take it how it resonates for you. Oh, that's too many for Cancer. Including the signs mentioned, only take the signs if they mention uh, if they resonate for you, Cancer. If you're new here, you're going to see me placing some cards from the bottom of the deck on the side. I'll tell you about those in just a minute. So let's see what we have so far. So we have Elder, and we have Warrior of the Heart. So, you know, I take this energy of Warrior of the Heart as someone fighting for their heart's desire, what they truly want. This person could be um, older than you, and I'm not saying like elderly older, but maybe, you know, with elder, uh, maybe a little bit older. So maybe there's an age difference here. So maybe there's an energy uh, because there's some sort of difference that, um, you know, it's going to take a little more to fight for this connection. Maybe others disapprove because I'm getting like um, warm energy here and like cold energy here. So it's like hot and cold energy so I feel like, you know, somebody wants to fight for this love. It could be you and, you know, or maybe they're not so sure. But um, I, I'm getting like an age difference. I mean, it doesn't have to be. But, um, you know, maybe they're getting advice and guidance from a wise elder, somebody, you know, a parent, a family member, a friend that is maybe older than them telling them, hey, you know what, if you really care for this person, you need to fight for your heart's desire, what you truly want out of life and don't let others dictate you know, who or who you should or shouldn't love is kind of what I'm feeling, Cancer. All right. Let's see here. And they could have been through, uh, they could have been someone who's been through a lot in matters of love, but with that warrior energy, that is someone that doesn't give up. They keep fighting for uh, what they want. All right. For Cancer, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. All right. You can definitely switch and flip energies around anytime uh, you feel like you need to. This is a this is um, a look at your person, but if you feel like some of it's your energy, then you very well can take it as that. All right. So we have here: be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. We have 44, very stable uh, energy. And we have choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. And we have 21, which is three. If three is an energy of, you know, working together, building together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise. But I feel like with be in the present and dream of the future and choose love, someone needs to choose this love, be in the present moment and dream of the future what you could have together. So if it's like an age difference or something like that, that's keeping you apart and, you know, maybe they have people around them that disapprove. I mean, you could be the one that's older. They could be the one that's older. I mean, if that's what it is or if it's some other kind of difference, you know, take it how it resonates for you. Let's see here. So the cards that you see me placing on the side over there, Cancer, uh, for your extended reading. So if this does resonate for you and you would like to go to the extended, you can find all that information down below, as well as everything you need to know about me and my channel, especially if you're new. So you can check that out if you like to. All right, for Cancer. Oh, that's too many. For Cancer, for this no contact love tower reading for the month of May. What is going on with your person, whoever you have in mind? All right, so we have here the Knight of Swords, the Prince of Winter, intellectual, determined, focused, impulsive. This is Aquarius energy or just any air sign. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. And we have here the tower, life experience, let go of belief systems. I think, I believe that's the tower. It must be, yeah. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. This is Aries energy with the tower. 
this is two energies. I mean, the Knight of Swords is something happening uh, quickly. And so is it kind of like the Tower. could be something happening now or soon. Um, again, it could be a big change, a surprise, epiphany, awakening um, moment here. Big sudden shift. So there seems like there is going to be some sort of big sudden shift here and change coming in soon for you, uh, Cancer. Somebody could be taking action to bring in a big, big change in this connection. Somebody could be just going for it and say, you know what, I don't care what others think. I got this before, um, I think it was a Scorpio reading, no, it's kind of the same energy was for their uh, new love reading. So I don't know if anyone's dealing with Scorpio or if they have Scorpio in their chart. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Take a look at your person's energy, see what's going on for them, and we're going to look at how they're feeling about you and this connection for, okay, the mind. So we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, that just fell out reverse. I'm going to leave it that way. So we have the World Energy. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, Six of Spirals. And we have the Five of Spirals, the Five of Wands. I think I need one more here. And the Page of Cups, Page of Mirrors, which could be water energy. So with the Page of Wands in reverse, usually that's about good communication, good news. I feel like here, um, Cancer, your person is kind of stuck in a situation or stuck in their head. They definitely do see this connection that could move forward in a very successful energy. Um, but there's this five of spirals and the page of wands in reverse. I feel like there's, in the eight of swords, there's energy around them, conflict. People may be talking bad about the connection, maybe you, I don't know. Not good with this um, page of wands in reverse. Usually that's a bit good, about good news, exciting, excitement and things like that. But in reverse, it's not so much. You know, it could be negative talking. It could be gossip. It could be bad-mouthing, uh, trying to maybe pers pers um, pers I can't even think of the word I want to say, um, sway your person like away from you in a way. I mean, with the world here, um, I do see, I see fire, water, and I see Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. With the world, psyche. I mean, this says psyche. So I think there's people around your person playing with their psyche. Um, persuade, that's, I was, that's the word I was trying to say. Uh, I think they're trying to persuade your person away from you, like bad-mouthing the connection or talking them out of it, like not talking good about the connection or whatever here. So it's making your person kind of stuck in their head. But deep down, they know with the Six of Wands here that this could be a very successful connection. And the energy is here with the world that this could start new. Uh, a new cycle is ready to be had here. And we do have the page of mirrors here. I mean, this could be a love offer, apologies. Um, but we have the two of swords underneath. So this could be indecisive energy about coming through with that love offer. Yeah, three of wands. So there's still a period of waiting, 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 waiting. But it's fate and destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is something meant to be. For some reason, there's people around them that don't want them with you or they don't want this connection. That's kind of what I'm feeling. But, um, you know, part of them wants to fight for this. But again, that elder, and I feel like it could be in like maybe elder family members or friends or something like that. Just really, in this uh, Knight of Swords here, can be troublemakers. People that act irrationally. Oh boy. Let's see what else is going on for Cancer's person. What is all this energy about for Cancer's person? Please, Spirit, thank you so much for the month of May. Four of Cups, okay, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Stones, Five of Cups, The Hangman, wow, yeah, it's just kind of reiterating everything I just said here. Ace of Cups, they're, they're, their new beginning in love is right here, but with the Hangman, they're keeping, uh, something's keeping your person stuck and stagnant. 
um, in a situation. I mean, they're feeling very sad here with the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups. If you add those together, you get the Nine of Cups, which is a dream come true, and wish fulfillment and happiness and joy. We do have the Nine of Pentacles here. They definitely are single. They're not seeing anybody else. They're ready to go on this pil pilgrimage towards you. But somebody is playing with their psyche, I feel. So they're feeling kind of disenchanted here. Like, well, I just don't know what I should do. I don't know what I should do. Again, feeling stuck and bound and feeling like sad. They are not happy with their friends or their family or whatever here. That's kind of keeping them stuck in this hey man that's making them double think this connection over and over and over when they know this divinely guided brand new beginning in love is right here. We have a mirror here. You can actually be twin flames because you, you know, twin flames mirror each other. Chariots. Like they just want to get in their car or their vehicle. They just want to come to you, get to you. You know, there could be distance uh, between you, but something's holding them back here. Yeah. Again, making them feel imbalanced here. And at a crossroads. That's like three twos I've seen. And that's about, you know, needing to make a decision. Wow. All right. So let's see what else. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Stones. And the King of Stones, King of Pentacles. So we have Pisces over here. Uh, and now we have um, Virgo. <laughs> they're, they're ready like to give you a full-blown commitment. They are. They would love to marry you because the King of Pentacles here could be someone who is committed, married. I don't think they're married. I, I mean, they could be. But I, I, I mean, that wouldn't make any sense here. I'm not feeling that. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles can be about marriage, too. So maybe they're stuck in an unhappy marriage. or But that wouldn't make any sense here. I don't feel like it's that. I mean, this King of Pentacles, King and Queen, can be a parental figure also. And the Ten of Pentacles can be family. So it could be family issues. And you see the Seven of Swords, so Seven of Scrolls. That can be about lies, deceit. Um, also, so it could be people making up things. And with this Four of Pentacles... In reverse, it's like they don't want to hold back anymore. I mean, that's about holding back. It's about, um, it can be about holding on, not letting go, or holding back, being kind of stingy. But I feel like they they don't want to hold back. They want to come to you. They want to be with you. They'd probably like to marry you, you know, and maybe it's religious or religion or ethnic backgrounds or uh, culture differences or something like that. You know, like somebody could be, I don't know, um... One nationality and the other is another nationality. And, oh, well, those two nationalities aren't supposed to be together. You know? Oh, Knight of Cups here. Four moment in love. Scorpio energy here. Definitely want to take four moment. But Ten of Swords, yeah. And you see somebody is stuck in something. Just like the um, Eight of Swords up there. So they're definitely stuck and bound in something that they just want out. They just want out. So we have the Knight of Scrolls here, Knight of Swords, which is a repeating card right there. They're wanting to take action to this Two of Cups, Soulmate Union. Oh my goodness. they got to break free from this. they got to fight for this if they want it bad enough. They need to choose love and they need to choose to fight for this love. All right, so let's see how they truly feel about you, Cancer. If you are resonating woo, with this Cancer, please do give it a thumbs up. Greatly would greatly help me in the channel and get those videos out there to the ones that need to hear them. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you. How are they feeling about cancer? Eight of Pentacles. Strength. Uh, very strong connection here. We have Leo energy. Uh, temperance to Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles. You work well together with this person. Your energies, I feel like, just mesh very, very well. And you know that no matter what your differences are, it's just a strong connection here with the Strength card. Um, again, going to pass lives with this person. And this, you know, and they they want to so much to be the strong, confident one to come in here and mesh the energies together because it's it's like this Strength and the Eight of Stones, Pentacles, is like we just work. Our energies just mesh so well together, no matter the age, the differences, whatever here. And we have temperance here, which can be reconciliation. Again, past lives together. 
you know, being very patient through this whole situation. And it's also about balance. But peace and harmony and joy can come in here if we choose to. Divine alchemy at play. Trying to, you know, get these two energies to come together. All right, what else here for Cancer? What else here for Cancer? Sunflower. A lot of growth could be had here in this connection. Learning and growing with each other. Ace of Stones. Wow. Solid new beginning here for the long term. And the moon. And the knight, uh, king of swords. So we have Gemini, Pisces again. So they want to speak their truths here with the king of swords, the king of scrolls. This is someone who's very smart, practical, analytical, but someone who does speak up, speak their mind, not afraid to cut away energies no longer serving, standing up for themselves, not backing down, telling it like it is. So part of them wants to do that, yet they have fear with this moon energy, fear of what could happen. A lot of feelings, a lot of hidden feelings. You know, maybe they're not really showing how they truly feel to others around them. Um, a lot of deep feelings, though. Maybe they're feeling, oh, maybe this is just an illusion. But a solid new beginning is right here with the Ace of Stones, and that's what they would like. This could lead to marriage, which we see the Ten of Pentacles there, the King of Pentacles. This could also be, you know, the person here trying to you know, if they're an air sign, talk your person out of this whole connection. Because we do have air over here with the Knight of Swords. Doesn't have to be. This could be maybe someone helping. It could be a wise counsel, advisor, guidance. I don't know, something like that. Maybe a lawyer. I don't know, something like that to try to, you know, bring this together, if that makes sense. But we have the Hierophant here. Look at that. Taurus energy here, marriage, commitment, higher levels of all forms, spirituality, faith, religion, you know, very uh, traditional energy, standard by the book, doing what's moral, just, and right, higher levels of all forms. Uh, yeah, they're feeling like, they're feeling at a loss right now, and always, that's what I feel, five of pentacles. They're ready to go on a new journey, eight of cups, they're ready to walk away from all this nonsense. And they're ready to walk down that path to get to their person, which is their divine counterpart. We have the emperor here, emperor Arpus, does it matter, Aries energy? They know who their divine counterpart is. And the six of scrolls, again, a sword's about traveling. But I don't know what's going on here, Cancer, but uh, somebody needs to fight for this if this is what they truly want. Could be happening here. I mean, we do have... The tower, that could be a big disruption, big, big change, taking action quickly with the Knight of Swords, coming in fighting for this, for the warrior of the heart, because we're choosing love. They want the now and they want the future. All right, let's see what we have here for your extended reading. So if you're resonating with this and you would like to go to the extended, again, everything you need to know is down below. So we have Prayer Feather, White Buffalo. We have turn on your heart lights. Rest and relaxation is essential. Five of summer. Wow, and ten of winter. Oh, all right. So we're going to see what's going to happen here in the extended. Everything you need is below. And again, if you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.